Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 4 and we are here on the second final mission in the campaign. Nicomedia, I think it's pronounced. These are the two final missions and today we're jumping into this one. The Empire reaches the very pinnacle of glory, unmatched for all time. A city to rival the splendor of Rome is a tall order, but the Emperor commands it. Let's go ahead and begin the mission. Caesar wishes to expand the Empire into Anatolia and the lands around the Black Sea. He has assigned you, his most trusted governor, to build a flourishing metropolis in Bithynia to sit astride the roads between the new lands in the east and his existing empire to the west. Nicomedia will surely be the most magnificent accomplishment in your tenure as a Roman governor. The province is both peaceful and rich. Built and governed properly, a city here could come to rival the grandeur of Rome itself. The Emperor will accept nothing less than perfection from your efforts, so build wisely so that you may retire content in the knowledge that none can rival your accomplishments. Alright, alright. Culture, a hundred. Security, a hundred. Prosperity, a hundred. Favor, ninety. No, it's a hundred. Population, ten thousand. Everything is a hundred. Population, ten thousand. We have not built a city of such splendor. Let's go ahead and begin. By the way, for those of you who want to support the channel, please do check out patreon.com slash uh, where more support from sources like that means we run fewer ads on YouTube. So thank you so much for the support. And you'll notice we run one ad every, on average, 20 to 30 minutes. Now, what are we dealing with? A moderately grassy terrain. Uh, we have a coast. We have some hills. Kind of tricky. Not a lot of farmland looking at it. We've got these coasts. We have uh, these sand pits right here. We have clay pits right here. Another sand pit right there. We have some things over this way. Marble quarry. Iron mine. Clay pit. Gold mine right there. And that's, that's all. All of the resources around the water. Uh, well, trees, I guess, are here. Uh, this is all just shrubland. There's actually not a lot of resources. We've got to build a max city with these meager resources. Do I want to be looking at it from this direction with the coast to the south? Or do I want the coast to the west? I think I like coast to the west. Three distinct farmlands. We gotta make sure we don't mix things in. So like this will be all cattle, this will be all grain, this will be all... Uh, well, actually, let's have a look at our resources. Grain, vegetables, cattle, yes, sheep. All right, no olives, no grapes. Gold, iron, timber, clay, sand, marble. Oh, we do actually have all of these. We have all of these. All right, let's have a look at trade routes. We're going to need a lot of money. Nicomedia, your city. Mesopotamia wants weapons and clothes. Uh, 900 denarii to open. Egyptus wants pottery and armor. Moesia wants glass and marble. Latium wants utensils, timber, and marble. And Sardinia wants jewelry, gold, and furniture. We can produce... All of these. Every single possible export here we can produce. We can trade and make money from every single trade route. So the cheapest one to set up is Moesia, glass and marble. That one's an easy one. Okay, so we start with 10,000 denarii. We can just get going. Now in terms of food, grain, vegetables, cattle, this is sort of the largest area. Maybe this can be like a mixture of uh, cattle and sheep. And then if I... I gotta check, is this all flat? Sometimes little hills just mess things up. There's some trees here, we don't want to chop those down. Then we could have grain over here. Now, building a city of such stature is going to be difficult. So how do I want to do it? This hill, difficult to build on, but we could place certain big things up here. There's some ruins, look at that. Uh, 
I assume we can clear it off. So for example, we could put a Colosseum up here. Or the the circus up on here. Put the Colosseum up here, then it'll provide access to out to the sides. So I think I want to set up a nice little insula domus area right here. Now, this is a grand city. This is a grand city. So I have to make it look nice. And I'm going to try, I'm going to try do some decorating and stuff uh, to make this look like something special. Oh, so let me just check what's the range on these fields. Okay, so this middling grass is nothing. Okay, so let me start by setting up a central area, which will have... What do I put in the middle? There's a shrine, this is a bathhouse. Yeah, so I'm actually just gonna start... How much room do I have until the cliff edge? Okay. We actually can't fit a lot, a lot. But I'm going to try and make this look real nice. So this can go up to maybe about here. Okay, up to about there. And I'm going to start filling in insula facing this way. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to have a road go up this way. And then I want a decorative center of... No. I don't like the bamboo trees. Do I just put a large hedgerow? Or is that too boring? I could put medium trees. Just like a big row of medium trees. That's three tiles, right? Yeah. So we're going to plan for that. And then go one, two, three, four, five. We might as well explode in population because it's just... We just need to do so much. Um, then I can have a large hedgerow between the houses. One, two, three, four, five. Is this correct? One, two, three, four, five. So this is already 20 houses. Right? This is 20 houses. And we're gonna do that. Uh, do I just want to, like, just go all out? Do I go straight to 40 houses is the question. I think we might as well, right? I think we might as well. Just go straight to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll place them over on this side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Forty houses straight away. Uh, limited starting funds? Yes, I know. Uh, we're gonna have to plan some domus here. So how do I want to plan the domus? Round the back, I think. So we're gonna have... A road that does this. Ooh, not that. So basically, once all of these houses move in, I'm just gonna go max all of our exports. Like, I'm just gonna go ham on that. But I need Domus down. So Domus doesn't fit if I do that. By one tile. <laughs> Fine. Gonna have to do this. Just shift the road by one tile. Okay. Um, two of these is equivalent to the length of... Uh, 
Is anything coming down this way? I think yes, I should plan for it. So I'm gonna go one. If I leave a gap, is there a center? One, two, three. Not quite. So I think I'm just gonna go one, two, three, like that. Can I actually just... I can just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven domus right at the start. Now let's just get the essentials down. Um, a prefect and engineering office. Uh, we're gonna need a fountain in a way that I can make look decent. You know, I'm I might at this point I might just be a little bit efficient and I'll make it look nice later. So if I just drop a fountain here and stick a reservoir up this way, that should reach. Yeah, okay. And just have a pump house somewhere okay. near those rocks. Get an aqueduct over. Is that connected? Yes. Okay, so that'll get the absolute essentials down. Right? Let's run the game. This is gonna be our main block. So services can go on the sides. We've got marble, so I will be utilizing temples. For sure, for sure. Immigrants can't reach my city? Wait, where's the spawn point? Oh, we have to bridge. Okay, so let's plan our Exports. So the easiest one to open up is glass and marble. So glass we can set up here. Yeah, it makes sense to set up here to supply the city. Marble is only here. Uh, gold, I could plan for this. So I'm going to have to bridge across, right? It can be a normal bridge, right? What is even buildable here? I can build there, I can build across here. Do I want to bridge across to the gold? Perhaps? So if I just build a normal bridge... Oh, it can only reach there? Okay. So if I just bridge across here, maybe providing a new bit of access to the gold, immigrants should be able to spawn and move in now, right? Don't tell me they just bug out. Do they... Do they fix themselves at all? <laughs> Come on. Don't tell me. Really? How was that not tested? Did no one play this map and put a house down before building the bridge? How? This game really wasn't tested, huh? It's just... It's just completely stuck. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a few solutions and see if we can get this fixed. Okay, I think I found a solution. We just need to build another bridge here. Just now I tested it and it worked. Um, let's see if it works this time. There we go. So there's some immigrants which are just stuck there forever. I don't know if I could ever fix that guy. Servius, who currently serves this milestone marker, I guess. The no per Thanks so much for the sub. It's very kind of you. Anyway, um, the... 
they are now not using this bridge. You just... No, wait, they are using this bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they just have a weird way of going about it. <laughs> While they're making their way over, let's prioritize prefects and engineers, and then let's prioritize water. And nothing's gonna burn down here. We just have to secure a source of money. So what we'll do is set up uh, some marble quarries right here to get marble going. Marble quarry, marble quarry. Let's open the trade route to Moesia. They also want glass. Okay. So I think there's a sand pit down this way. Yep. So let's put down raw material, sand collecting camp. Here and here. And we have to have this road connect up to here. And then we can go for glass factories along this road. One, two, three, four. And then we have the trade route to Moesia set up right here at this intersection. Like that. Selling glass and marble. 24 each. That should max things out. But also let's not forget the basics. Prefect Engineering Office. Prefect Engineering Office. Okay. So that's our first trade route set up. We just need people to move in. Here they are, slowly trickling into the city. Things might continue to burn here, so I'm just gonna put down a second prefect office to make sure things keep up. Okay. So the next trade route we can set up, this is weapons and clothes, this is pottery and armor, this is, ooh, utensils, timber and marble. Latium, it's a water trade route. This one is also water, jewelry, gold, and furniture. Jewelry, gold, and furniture, water trade route. So I assume the ship can't make it up this river. I assume so anyway. Actually, maybe it can. Maybe ships can go up this way. Copernicus, thank you so much. They can if it's a ship bridge? Okay. So I can plan for that. I don't know how far up they can go, but if we're doing that, then... We... this is fine. I can just have the gold mining camps up this way. Uh, which... I think they can walk their way over to the gold. So if I put... Like, a gold mining camp here, and a gold mining camp here. They can make it? And a prefect office, and an engineering office. And can I fit a third gold mining camp? I really want gold going. And then I can get some jewelry factories right along here. One, two, three. We can sell gold and jewelry to Sardinia, right? And they want furniture as well, which we'll set up later. Cost a thousand to open that. But I'll start preparing with a couple warehouses. This is going to be for jewelry. This is gonna be for gold. Actually, it should be the other way around, right? No, it's fine. It doesn't matter. I might just get rid of this bridge, but I can put the trade port on this side now without shifting the bridge. 
Uh, how much marble can we sell? 30, it's not a lot. Two should be fine. 50 glass is quite a bit. With four factories, it should be okay, but perhaps I need a fifth factory. Let me just put down two more factories. There we go. And we're just over a thousand denarii now. I need to start making money. Oh. Malaria. Right. We're gonna need a clinic. Temporarily, I'm gonna put the clinic there. Just to hit every single house. That's not where services are going to be permanently. I basically need two of every service on each side. And we're already low on money. Marble's starting to come in. People are starting to come in. We still have lots of unemployment. Should I mothball some domus? Oh, desirability is too low on some of them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. They're all gonna start moving out very soon. We've got a thousand people. We still need more people. More people are moving in though. I basically want to open the trade route for the gold and the jewelry. And then I want to feed the people. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, feeding people is gonna take a lot. Perhaps I should use this for grain. It'll just be easier to get going. I need to get back over a thousand though. Okay, we have enough plebs that's working everything now. I think I need another sand collecting camp. Just to push that up. We are not selling nearly enough. Grass costs 94. Oh. <laughs> maybe I overspent. Maybe maybe just a tad. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps I overspent. You know, people are gonna start moving out, but we have too many people anyway. It's fine. It's it's fine. <laughs> we don't we don't need them all. Uh, gold and jewelry is coming in. So once I open that trade route, we should be able to just make money. We should be able to make money pretty easily. Uh, but I don't want to go into debt with Caesar for that. Wait, where'd our gold and jewelry go? Oh, wait, no. The jewelry's here, the gold just went into the factories. Understood. Alright, we have a good amount of glass and marble to go out now. No raw materials. We're waiting on sand. Three sand pits should be able to get things going. Here comes a trader. I've come a long way to buy goods from your town. And boy, are my feet tired. Alright, so how much do I get from one trip here? You should buy four of each. Oh, he can buy how much? He bought a lot more. No, he doesn't buy eight. How much does he buy? Buying and selling. He bought five and four? Wait, I thought they game. bought eight units. Is it? Is it not eight? Eight units each. Oh, they can hold a maximum of eight of each resource. Oh, okay. So this this should get us back to over a thousand. Then I'll let the people become a little bit happier. So many of these houses haven't even moved in yet. We have so much unemployment. Okay. Glass is starting to stream in, which is good. I think the sand is making its way through the factories, yeah? Marble's coming in as well. Marble, quarry, camp, things doing well. We pay so much in wages. I just need to get slightly over a thousand. Then I can open the trade route to sell jewelry. And then we'll be good to go. I'll put the trade port over here, it's not too far. And we don't have to destroy the bridge. 
Because of the walker glitch, I did overspend a bit. Like, I don't need this bridge at all. I can chop these trees to sell to the jewelry trade route, though. Alright, we have six glass, four marble here. So they should be able to buy all of these. Outbreak of malaria, that's fine. We've got a clinic. 920. Many equites are leaving the city. It's okay. We don't have jobs for you. We've got one clinic and a fountain. <laughs> yeah, off you go. Off you go. Uh, malaria is probably breaking out because we don't have food. At least we got water. How much jewelry do we have? Enough to make a good amount of money. If I check resources, prices, jewelry is 74. Marble is 50, glass is 50. Yeah, jewelry is just worth so much more. Uh, gold is only 29. And we're not stockpiling gold. We actually need more gold mines. I might need another marble quarry. Jupiter has spitefully destroyed a building. Right. The gods. Oh, look, you can pause the lightning. Wow, okay. Jupiter Shrine. Let's do that. Mercury Shrine. Let's do that. Okay. Fire ravages your city. I wouldn't call that ravaging. But also... Trade routes available. Our city's supply of food is... With so yeah. little worship, people are amazed the city still stands. <laughs> I forgot about the gods. Okay, I might just have to take a hit from Caesar here. I'm just gonna do it. It costs a thousand to open this. We can sell 12 units, right? And they cost 75 each, so we'll get back... We'll basically make our money back from the first trade. Yeah, open trade. I know, I know. The trade port itself. To be safe, I'll stick it out in the water. Should I avoid these rocks? You know, this should work. It should work. Let's hope it works. Oh, forgot to sell, sell. 24, 24. You know, I'm gonna be selling furniture as well. Okay. And to 12, and up to there. That's fine. Please buy jewelry. We have lots. We have some gold as well. Bring it all over. Here comes a ship. It does work. Boat Trader. This does classify as a boat, right? At what point does a boat become a ship? I actually don't know the definition. Alright, we've got 10 jewelry in there. That's good. There's more on the way, but I think we'll just do 10 on this one. Which should get us out of debt? No, not quite. Uh. The land trader has also come by. Oh wait, we got out of debt. Something... The land trader was just there. Oof. Okay, we got out of debt. Uh, is this rubble still there? Yeah, can we, can we just remove that smoldering ruin? The Domus, the Equites, move in, move out, move in, move out. That's fine. We're gonna set up two types of food. And then they should be happy. There we go. Jewelry streaming in. I don't know if any gold will make it over. Can I fit any more gold mining camps? Not really here. Can fit one here. Can a road make it through? It can. 
something that I will do later. Okay, two gold, six jewelry, ready for sale there. Okay, glass and marble is stocking up in the Moesia trade route, so I don't have to build another marble quarry. Oh, it's because I got the Jupiter blessing, right. Oof, we're back down into debt. I think land trade route's just about showing up here. Uh, nine jewelry, two gold. Got to see how much we stock up here for the, uh, the water trade route. Yeah, I don't want to use personal funds in case some people are asking, why not use personal funds? Uh, I, I don't want to use personal funds. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're basically going to have a food market on this side. Right? Yes. The food market's going to be here. As we extend the road back. And I actually want the granary literally next to the food market. And this is going to be the grain food market. And we're in debt again. Why are things catching fire so much? Is it because of crime? Maybe it's crime. We do not have enough jobs <laughs> for all of our workers. Uh, total plebs needed. A nice round number of 1080. Unemployed plebs, 1070. It's just a graphics card lower, okay? Alright, here comes a ship and we have 12 jewelry, 5 gold. Okay, so, oh, 15 jewelry. So we are actually overproducing jewelry a little bit. But this will solve our current money problems. There we go. Perhaps I should mothball houses? Yeah. Let's mothball an area of houses. Just kick them out. We do not have enough jobs for all of our That workers. helps. Oh, look at that. Now we have money. Let's slow the game down. Let's feed people. Uh, let's go... I'm gonna put fields first. Okay. I wanna be efficient with this. So this is the corner. Grain. 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 I want to use up as much space as possible. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to go real out there. One, two, three, four, five. Really? So annoying. Fine. Six. Like, it's hard to get a straight line because the edges of the fields aren't that great. Uh, vegetable fields. Let's go second type. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Okay, then we are going to have another granary across the road here, up there. 
This is going to be vegetables. And then we're going to have our farms. We need six of each. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then vegetable farms. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can feed our people. So they won't be so unhappy. Is that house burning? Yeah. Some of the city is on fire. Eh. Not fulfilling will lose favor. 2,000 denarii. Rome demands tribute, sure. I have a feeling this is from crime. I've got two prefects here. Do we need more prefects? I have another prefect. Okay. Now with the gold trade route going, that should be good. Uh, if I need more people and need more money, I can set up... Yeah, it's fine. I can set up some timber cutting camps here. I can go one, two. How much can I sell for furniture? 65. That's quite a lot. One, two, three. Uh, just do that. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, furniture. Factory. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Prefect office, engineering office. We'll set up a warehouse to hold furniture. And we're actually short on workers because I think a lot of our houses are just kind of burning to the ground. So let's unmothball. Occupants evicted. There we go. On fire. I think our people are just on strike because they weren't being uh, needs more workers. they weren't being paid. <laughs> uh, lots of people are moving out. Food's gonna come in and money's now stabilizing. With furniture going out, that should get us all the money we need. Furniture's now being produced. I've been kicked out of my home. Excuse me. Don't I have trees near my entry point? So I do. Oh well. Might as well use the bridge. <laughs> uh. Alright. I'm actually over 2,000 now. Um, are we going to have a harvest of food anytime soon? It would be nice if we could have a harvest. There we go. Some food's coming in. I think every house has been touched by flame. I might as well rebuild these. Good. Somehow people are displeased and grumbling about the conditions of the city. The Equites are unhappy and may emigrate. Food, finally. Coming on in.
furniture is being produced. Great. Uh, did we sell any? Where's that ship? No, not yet. They bought only three jewelry? I might have to just try and spam gold mines around here. The jewelry factories are filled. Alright, that's a lot of food. Finally, people can eat. Finally. <laughs> they can eat. That was close. Perhaps I should set up... Um, cattle right here. I just wrap a road around here. I can have another granary set right here. To hold meat. I can extend a road this way. And give our people three types of food. Let's go one, two, three, four. Uh, cattle pastures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not six, because meat actually produces a lot of money. A lot of food, rather. Uh, tax office, we're not taxing things. Just tax the food market, please. Outbreak of malaria, no problem. The clinic's still running. Uh, Furniture is going out for sale now. Great. With this trade, I might fulfill that demand. How much money do I have here? Three thousand. We do not have. Rome considers your efforts. Two thousand. Yeah, mediocre. ship it. Now I might try to avoid military on this, if there is any military conquest. Let's have a warehouse here set to holding marble. And a warehouse here, set to holding glass, just to start stockpiling, in case other demands come in. Okay. And then I want maybe to squeeze more gold mining camps here. I can fit one more. And then maybe put down... there. Another jewelry factory. It's July. How's our trade looking? So glass and marble is maxed. Latium also buys marble. Gold and jewelry. Gold is probably never gonna max. Jewelry is actually fine. It's on their way to maxing. So Latium costs a thousand and we could sell marble to it, that's not so great. Egyptus costs a thousand fifty, we can sell pottery and armor. I just need to have infinite money. Three types of food will keep people super happy though. Even the domus. We have no money, but we have delicious food, so we're not gonna rebel. That's that's the plan. Glass. Okay. Did I unmothball everything? Not yet. Ooh, blessing from Mercury makes our trade routes prosper. Okay. All these houses are now unmothballed. They are slowly getting food. Perhaps I should double up the food market. If I move this tax collector, 
just have another food market here. Just really distribute the food. Just get it all out there. Cows starting to grow up. Okay, great. Um, if I have money, I can now put down some temples. Ooh, temples. Yes. Um, first things first, I'm going to... This granary being here is weird. I'm going to stick this granary across the road like this to hold meat. Now, uh, I'm going to move the clinics. So I'm going to have a clinic here and a clinic... This road's going to extend like that. And a clinic here. I can get rid of this clinic. And I can extend a road round the back. So it's a one tile gap. Checking my money before I do anything big. So that's there. Now if I take a Jupiter Temple and stick it right in the middle. Is that wise? Now perhaps I should actually alter the road here. Temple to Jupiter right here. It only costs 188 and one marble. <laughs> it's so cheap. There will be a road going up here. I can now get rid of... I should also have a temple to Mercury. Like that. Get rid of these shrines. And what's the coverage? 100%. Yes! That's gonna give me the next thumbs up. Increase tax revenue. Traders pay more for your exports. Yes. Uh, now let's replace the tax office so we can actually take advantage of that. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Nerdman returns in chat says, Long time YouTube subscriber. Enjoy Caesar 2, 4, Emperor, Pharaoh, Zeus. Thank you so much. Any idea when I'll resume with Zeus once I finish this? Once I finish this. Uh, why do I always only use like 25% of the map? Ease, really. Convenience. Keep things compact, then services just hit more. It's efficiency. Um, though, you know me, I'm not a stickler for efficiency, but... Yeah, that jewelry factory is going well. Yes, great. Uh, I can just throw down another gold mining camp here. It's a long way to walk, but it helps speed things up a little bit. So next I probably want more money. Clothing, weapons, utensils, timber, marble. Water trade route to Latium. Utensils. There is this iron mine here. That is the only iron mine, right? Ooh, this game. They put the iron mine and the gold... The only iron mine and the only gold mine. In hyper inaccessible locations. <laughs> uh, so we just have to spam iron mining camps, I guess. So if I just go like one, two, three, four, and then I have utensils factories. Go one, two, three, four. Right, then I can open the trade route to Latium. Trade port, which I will stick here between these rocks. Can I have this lined up? I think I can.
have this road connect like this. And you are selling utensils, timber and marble. Marble, utensils, timber. Utensils will come in, timber. I guess we can just throw down a couple extra timber cutting camps right here. They can cut those trees and we can export timber. Have a warehouse set up here, set to holding utensils. The iron mining camps, they have to walk up to here, get the iron. You'd think eventually people would get enough gold, but then there's never enough, is there? Okay, now, evolving these houses, somewhat tricky, because I just realized pretty much everything is up there in the north. <laughs> Um, I can get glass from here, and I can get pottery from here. Um, I can get furniture from here a little bit. And here. Okay, so not everything is up there. Utensils is up there, but we'll make do. Okay, uh, in terms of the rest of this. I can go ahead and put down more temples. Let me throw down a series temple. I just want to line it up like that. Uh, a one tile gap will actually look better. So if I do a series temple there. Bacchus is never useful. But then Mars... Oh, the Mars Temple will actually increase our production of weapons and stuff, so I can do that. And now if I look at religion, series, covers everything. Mars, yep. So we're gonna have two thumbs up. So, series, grapes and olives grow more quickly, sheep and cattle mature more quickly. Great. Uh, card pushers carry an extra item. Traders pay more for your exports. Armor and weapons are produced more quickly. Your cohorts are more deadly. Caesar is more forgiving if you're late with a shipment. Increased tax revenue. Now a favor with Rome must rise okay. for the prestige of our city. This is gonna be such a good city. Uh, we have meat. Oh, we are we are serving three types of food. Great. With the new series blessing. Can't Bacchus grow jealous? No. On the only god that ever does anything is Jupiter. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. Now, our money is exploding. And now I want to get glass from here over to our housing area. So let's go... Sand collecting camp. Sand collecting camp. Build a road heading straight east. Uh, let's really boost it up to make sure things go okay. Uh, we are also short on workers, so th this is important for the next evolution. Not fulfilling will lose favor. 60 jewelry? Okay. Cultural standard. Stockpile jewelry. Could be advantageous to our city. 60, huh? So I'll need another warehouse. Just holding on to jewelry. So I have one there, one there. Can I get 60 jewelry in a year from four factories? Well, I have to evolve my houses first. Uh, glass factories. Can I put them up on this hill? One, two, three, four, five, six. And this road is connecting up like this. 
Let's keep roads straight. We are trying to emulate Rome. And we have a warehouse right here for the glass. And a warehouse right here for the glass. And we have a basic goods market right here to distribute the glass. Clothing can come from the western fields. Let's make sure we have a prefect office and engineering office set up. Money's fine. Oh, that second thumbs up from Mercury goes a long way, huh? We're suddenly making so much more money. Gold is stocking up. Huh. Do I need another jewelry factory? I think I do. To match that demand. I can stick it back here. Things are getting a little bit cramped, but that's fine. It's an industrial district. Can we make sure we're not selling any jewelry? We've stocked up glass, though. That's great. We are way overproducing glass. Can I just... get rid of a couple things to help solve our employment issues? Our city needs more workers. We're short by 500 people. <laughs> uh, money is no problem, though. I'm, so now that we're rich um, and going to continue to get richer, the uh, what? I'm not scared of invasions. Ooh, are we struggling to keep up with food? Or is it okay? Three types of food. So the domos which get the three types of food, they're just always happy. So is this glass coming in? Yes. Glass it up. I think we only need three of these. We'll evolve the houses, then expand our food production. Well, this is a pretty good setup. I think I can do some of my intended decorations. Small hedgerow. Let's do that. Let's do this. I planned for these decorations, so I might as well do it. All criminals have vanished overnight. Small hedgerow here. Small hedgerow here. And then large hedgerow is filling the middle. Great, and then I wanted small, no, medium trees, which were gonna fill up these gaps, but I'm gonna put things there. Uh, sure, just do that. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> uh, I wanted small hedgerows going between the temples as well. If you really spend time on this, you can end up decorating everything immaculately. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, did I really spend that much money? I'm down to 4,000. Some of these houses are evolving now, so that means glass is coming in. Yep, so those are gonna evolve, so we need to push up our food supply. Uh, let's go... Rome demands tribute, 2,000. 
Okay, I'll get back to you on that. Let me just build a road like along here so I can go vegetable. F Actually, I should send this road back this way. And do this and have vegetable farms closer to the granary. So the farms are closer to the granary, but further from the fields. One, two, three. This one's a little harder to deal with. One, two, three. So I need six more of each farm. Uh, field, rather. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Why are there rocks there? Can they not be cleared? That is so annoying. I'm short one vegetable field. I already squeezed everything up to the edges. Why are there rocks there? <laughs> what? No, it's just hills. It's just little hill bits. Anywhere fit? Don't think so. That is so annoying. I mean, we might as well. Bam. Six months, we've got 38. Okay, we're on the way. I'm not sure if we can produce enough food from here to feed all of this. We are short on workers, though. Maybe that's slowing down food production. I mean, I might have to convert all of this into just grain and have vegetables somewhere else. I mean, meat is doing fine. Meat produces so much food. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. What do they take me for? Okay, how's glass looking? Are we producing enough to f get all of this going? I think so. Alright. Um, ju just, can I, can I do one more trade route to like really just push my money to infinite? So Mesopotamia is a land trade route for clothing and weapons. Egyptus is a water trade route for pottery. Water trade route for pottery will be easy. I need to set up this industry anyway. I guess I don't have to, but... If I do... Clay digging camp. How much is it? 65 or something, right? If I do one... Two... Three of these. Prefect office, engineering office. We're currently short on workers, right? Yeah, 
pottery factories go along here, trade down here. Because when there's a demand like this, I need to make sure... I still have infinite money when I'm stockpiling a resource. So if I get pottery going out, then it should be fine. Okay, these houses are slowly evolving. It's just the first feeding of glass takes a long time. Oh, look at that. Food has exploded. It's, it's a bloom of food. Uh, I'll need every trade route on the map to open anyway. Yeah, I just want to secure infinite money first. Then I can just go ham on building everything. Uh, so right now I just need more people. Um, people are moving in, right? Yeah. As these houses evolve. Good omens from Mercury make our trade routes prosper. I mean, 10,000 people is a lot of people. I did do a 10,000 population city before this. Um, I didn't do such an efficient housing block, though. This is 40, 40 insula. So 40 times 150 is 6,000, right? Because 40 times 100 is 4,000 plus half, plus 50, which is half of 100, 6,000. So this is 6,000 people right here. I'll probably need another row of insula somewhere. What can I throw down while we're here? I can throw down an odium because I have plenty of I have plenty of equites, right? Oh, actually, not a lot. Only twenty-seven. So what's the range on odiums? So if I like put another odium right here. Entertainment, yeah, odium. It still doesn't hit every house. Our city needs more workers. Okay. How many people are we short on? 161. Oh, so what's our... our city, we have an outstanding order that must be fulfilled soon. Oh, this is asking for 2,000? Yeah, ship it. Jewelry? We have enough. Ship it. Great. Uh, resource, there stop stockpiling jewelry. Could be advantageous to our city. Resume selling jewelry. Okay. Uh, let me get pottery factories going. One. Two. Three, four. Five. Six. Let me open the trade route to Egyptus. Yeah. Let's set up trade for Egyptus, which we can stick right here. Let's try and avoid those rocks. Just for decoration, I'm gonna do that. Uh, so you are now selling pottery. With the warehouse right here, set to holding pottery. Yes, pottery's on the way. So that's another trade route which should secure anything we need. Uh, then I'm going to spend a bunch of money to extend roads along here. So pottery is now hooked up to here. So to bring enough pottery down this way, I'm gonna have two warehouses. 
set to just getting the pottery. Because it's a long way. But that should bring enough pottery down this way to evolve our insula to the max level. Okay. Um, does the tax office cover... Yes, it does. I like how everything sort of fit together, though. Those temples at the top. Should I should I make Bacchus happy as well? Bacchus Temple. Is there a rock there? There is. That's annoying. I guess I can stick a Bacchus Temple here. He's kind of the outcast. <laughs> Um, sure. Does that cover every house? No. That's annoying. Where can I put a Barker's Temple? It's not important, so I don't want it taking up an important slot. I guess here is kind of... best spot, right? If I put it here, just connect it. Bacchus. Ooh, does that just about hit every house? Yes. Also, it's just short on some Equites employees, so let me just mothball and Odium. There we go. Nice. Oh, these take 33? Let me mothball the other Odium. Okay, so we have perfect coverage for all of these. Appealing buildings become even more attractive. Wine is produced more quickly. Yeah, Bacchus is just not useful. We can't even produce wine on this. Are we not producing enough glass here. Well, money is looking real nice. Let me boost up glass production. Uh, furniture. Goal 50. Raiders. 10,000. Buy off. <laughs> and we still got 2,000 left. Yeah, I'm not dealing with raiders. Go away. Need a warehouse here to hold more furniture, and the let's stockpile that. So there are trade routes available that could be advantageous to our city. We have six of these, yeah, and we already have some stockpiled, so it should be fine. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Okay. I don't know if any pottery is making its way down here. We're selling some. I think we need more pottery factories. What is with this... these hills? Can do one here. Two more pottery factories. This, just to guarantee nothing burns or collapses. There we go. This long road comes down this way, which is bringing some. What this person is doing. This this here says, what this person is doing. And it's just a picture of a t-shirt with boxes on it. <laughs> I don't... It looks like... That's what it looks like anyway. All right, some pottery is coming here. Glass is stocking up as well. Um, why does this house not even have water? It's so strange. Why, do, why does this house have nothing? 
Oh, is this the house with the immigrant who's stuck at the... Oh no, the immigrant's not there anymore. What's with this house? I'm just gonna rebuild it. Maybe something went wrong with it. Oh, right. People who catch fire. Let me... Scatter some wells around. Wait, didn't I build a road here? Okay. In case anyone randomly catches fire. This is an economic mission, so I am not going to be messing with military unless I am super, super stable. Because just getting the economic goals is gonna be super hard. And we have the final military mission to do a lot of that, so don't worry. Okay, we've got enough sand to keep the two new glass factories going. We have enough population. We do not have enough jobs for all of our workers. Alright, that's good. <sighs> to get the final blessing of the gods, we're gonna need another well not 20 houses there's seven domus here like another 10 insula and another three domus sort of thing uh we're gonna need a lot of domus actually right also i'm gonna be decorating a lot so i'm gonna put down the base layer of this plaza Okay. But we can do more than this. We can do custom mixing of the plazas. But for now, I'm just going to do this. Which, now that I look at it, does look pretty flat. But what we can do is then take, I think, plaza 3? No. Plaza 1. And do like an outer layer. And it costs more to do this, but... I'm just gonna do that. Then we can have, like, a... central... highlight of our special plaza. At least it's something different. there. Good. There we go. Oh, all the fields. Series blessing. That's nice. Okay. One more block. Yeah, I think I'm at a point where I can kind of stop looking at money. <laughs> just want to try this because it's different and new yeah sure why not <laughs> why not uh, uh, are we getting large insula we are yes good um, are we not stocking up pottery I think we can support more pottery factories. Let's put down two more. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
Okay, furniture looks like we have enough. Yes, resource stop stockpiling furniture. Now, I want to use these trees over here. Do I? Yeah, I can get uh, some. And I might. Where am I going to be sticking more houses? Up? Left? I have a source of trees here. It's a bit far. Food still looks good, so that's nice. Probably gonna have a road going out this way. Can have a road go along here. All right. So what's the next step? What's the next step? Uh, I think I gotta evolve my uh, domus. So I can use these trees to generate furniture? Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Timber cutting camp. Go one. Two. We probably don't need that many. Road here. Then we're gonna need furniture factories. One, two, three, four. I'm going to move this fountain to there. So I can have this road. This is extend out like this. Then I can have a warehouse that doesn't fit there. This warehouse is for furniture only. Furniture factory. Okay, and then I'm going to have a luxury market right... Here. Jewelry and utensils. No one sells those, right? Then again, exotic good, exotic good, exotic good, exotic good, exotic goods. Okay, all of the imports are just exotic goods. How do I get jewelry or utensils down here? I guess just with lots of warehouses, right? If I just go like one, two, these warehouses will be just getting on super long trips. Utensils or jewelry? I should pick one. It's November. Let's see which one we're maxing out. Uh, jewelry is maxed out. Utensils is also maxed out. I guess utensils, because we're not selling iron. Yeah, and we have far more iron capabilities. So this will be getting utensils. Maybe have a third warehouse and a fourth warehouse. So we'll have four warehouses just going to get utensils. Yeah, I don't think we're bringing enough pottery down here anyway. Let's have another warehouse for pottery. Okay, then we just need a road connection that connects here so that we can actually get utensils over. 
So furniture and utensils will come in, allowing us to evolve the Domus. Rome wants 2,000, ship it. And we are going to be walling. Now, I've never done this. Walling the entire map. It's something that people kind of do, but... We have 5,000 people. Uh, gatehouse? Can I fit a gatehouse anywhere along this road? There. How do I make it face the other way? That way. Do I have lots of unemployment? We do not, have enough jobs not that much. Mothball. So there's a way out there. And I'm just gonna wall the entire map. Don't I have a furniture request? Uh, no, no, I fulfilled it. Your efforts to be mediocre. I'm gonna wall everything. So I just have to draw a wall from like this corner here, along here, and up to that river there, right? And then this whole area counts as being walled in. Oh, the edge of the map is weird. How far out can you build? Weird. Well, I won't be building on these hills anyway. It's farmland here. So this will actually bankrupt me if I'm not careful, so I'm just gonna take it step at a time. Some rocks there, okay. How do I fix this? Okay. And then we're Making our way across this, across this. And then down this way. And we gotta make it to the edge of the water. And it's always hard to tell if it counts, but that might count, that should count. <laughs> and we've actually gained money since we started this project. I went from eight to nine thousand. All right, maybe I can just keep walling, huh? We're gonna go around our farmland. What happened here? Okay. Our money is just constantly going up. I've never made this much money. So go right up to almost the edge. I don't want to accidentally glitch anything. Of course, there's some rocks in the way. Can I make it around this rock? Mars shows his favor, increasing non-existent legions skill in battle. Okay. And then I want to... I want to try to keep these trees within the walls. So I'll just build up as much to the edge as possible. But we do have to cut down two trees. How do I get that tree and no oh, that tree? Okay. Doing things like this means we'll never have to worry about walls getting in our way. Let's try not block this farmland at all and up to this river. What's blocking there? Okay, that should count as walling in 
Okay, we just gotta wait for luxury goods. Oh no, we'll evolve with city walls. It doesn't count. Unless I miss something. Do the bridges not count? So I have to wall off the north side as well. Okay, let's see what we can do on this mountain. Can we just build right on top of all of it? Yes. Okay. I have to build through all this. Across these. There's an iron mine there? I totally forgot there was an iron mine there. <laughs> well, it's working out fine, I guess. Uh, I wanted more, just remembered, utensils factories. One. Two. Three. Four. Because these iron mines are just really stocked up. Okay. Uh, can I wall around the iron mine? Maybe, kind of. Can kind of do this, yeah? Oh, I can't wall... I can't wall around the iron mine. I'm gonna have to have a gatehouse for the iron mine. Wait, can I even wall up to this gatehouse? I can't. Can I wall through this? Okay, mothball. Okay, a defended iron mine. Now, uh, to get through here, I'm just gonna do this for now. Clear the trees that block my way. That is breaking it, right? Yeah. This one, to be safe, I'll get rid of it. Okay. No, no, don't do that. I'm technically building off the map or something. Okay. So it's a clear shot to the edge here. Okay. Now, can gatehouses be diagonal? They can. So, sure. It's gonna be going like this. Now, does this count as walling in the city? No. <laughs> Did we miss something? I don't know. We'll evolve with city walls. I guess we could check. Maybe we missed a tile somewhere. Try gating off just the bridges. I wanted all of this to be walled in as well. 
just to boost my security because our security has to be a hundred right so all of this should be walled in maybe it's just not quite counting as properly walled off here at the edge let's just do that that was it that was it <laughs> Got it. Now our whole city is walled in. I hate how jank things work in this game. It's like you gotta wall up right to the water's edge, drag to the water's edge. No, 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 no. A little bit more. So all the medium domus are now evolving. That's great. We have furniture and jewelry. But I'm getting utensils. We got jewelry over here? Well, I guess if the luxury market wants to walk all the way up there and get jewelry, sure. We'll serve three types. Uh, on hand, 210. I knew they would ask for glass. Ship it. Okay, we have max level domus, max level insula. Uh, population is 6,300. It'll go up a little bit more with the domus evolved. Uh, this will bring in more equites for any kind of entertainment stuff that we need. Currently, do we have full coverage of odium? Mm, yes? No. Like, one house doesn't have odium access. Um... So we are going to need 100% coverage of all uh, of all entertainment things. So might as well get the odiums set up now. They're the easy ones. Uh, then I probably have to get to our target population and then build up from there, but should I just do a second housing block? It might be easier to deal with that, right? Yeah, I think I'll just need a second housing block. Maybe I should go set up uh, the villas for now. So food is here, basic goods is there, luxury stuff is there. Where do I want to set up villas? There's a hill here, can't really build there, that's farmland. There's this stuff here. These trees I don't want to chop down. This is farmland, and then we start to get very far away. The villas need access to these granaries, basically. This is a hill, so that sucks. I can kind of fit the villas up here, I guess. Right? It's very weird. I'm gonna need a... Actually, since we're evolving villas to maximum level, how many do we need? Sajuk says 16. That's a lot. I suppose we can bring food up no problem with enough granaries. So let me just find a spot and I'm going to just set a lot of warehouses and granaries to bring everything to the villas. There's this flat arid area here. Are these rocks destructible? Yes. There's a farmland there if I want to use it. I guess I can use this spot. These hills are all kind of weird. Doing it here. 16. So I basically need like 8, 8. Or like 4, 4, 4, 4. That's actually not too big. That's actually not really that big. Four sets of four sounds a lot more manageable. If I get rid of these ruins... I can fit them up here. Hmm. 
Yeah, I can fit them up here. Four sets of four is not a lot. They need six exotic goods. Exotic goods they can grab from far, far away. So I'm not too concerned about that. These rocks throw off my plans a little bit. But if I clear this brush land, I can have the rich houses up here. Let me just try place them. Uh, I guess I can build right up to that road. Should I be using that road? So if I'm going... How do I want them to be facing? I can have them alternate. We're trying to be compact. So let's do this. So I basically need four of these. Right? Rome demands 2,000. Okay. And do this. Have another set here. Okay. Services can always go around and things. Uh, just to make sure nothing burns, I'm just going to drop this now. Uh, we're also going to need a reservoir, which... Can this reach? reservoir here. I can have a reservoir here. Ooh, I can have it right up to here. That's great. I'll just have another pump house. I shouldn't be building this through the farmland, but you know, I don't really care. Uh, let's have it go up to here. Down to here. Come on. Okay. That covers it. Great. Uh, criminals are disappearing from the street. Okay, this road can continue like this. I can have another set right here. One, two, three, four. And then I can fit another one right... Wait, this is facing the wrong way. It's supposed to face down. What did I do wrong? Oh, this one's supposed to face right. And then I can do... Can I fit it? No, it doesn't fit there. How do I make this work? I guess I can just do this. One, two, three, four. Right? We'll probably need the roads for lots of plazas. And let's plaza it up. With our big plazas. Plazas 
goes such a long way for aesthetics, but plus we have that blessing for even more powerful aesthetics, which I think should affect plazas, right? So that will actually be enough to get us everything we need. But we're gonna need access to things. So like a road here, then we need to get all of our markets going. We need food market, clothes to plebs. We're gonna need a basic goods market, clothes to plebs. A demand for pottery, ship it. We're gonna need a luxury market. And then we're gonna need an exotic market. Okay, that's gonna service all of this. Uh, to get things over here, we're gonna need uh, three granaries. One's getting grain, one's getting vegetables, one's getting meat. Okay, uh, glass and pottery are down here. We do not have clothing yet, so I should probably set that up, right? Check labor, thousand unemployed, great. Uh, let us get sheep farms. One, two, three, four. Let's get sheep pastures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have the blessing, so that should get on with it pretty quickly. Let's have a road go through all of this. To hook up to here. And then a nice area to manufacture clothes. Clothing factory. One, two, three, four. Let me fix this road. Five, six. And then we just have like two, well, a warehouse for clothes. Clothing. And that can supply both of these areas. I don't need to sell clothes, I'm making too much money anyway. Okay, so now we need to provide all sorts of things to these guys. So for example, Services might be a little hard to get around here. Let's just pop a hospital down. Then they'll evolve with entertainment. So... Let's get a theater down. I might need to double up on... Services, because this hill is annoying. Theater. Will that cover the other end? Not by a long shot. I'm gonna need two theaters. I think... A Mercury Blessing, good. I'm gonna destroy these ruins to fit a theater. That will cover everything, and then we just need an Actors Guild, which can be stuck a little further away. Good. That should provide three types of food, basic goods, 
furniture, yes. I should probably have a couple warehouses bringing jewelry down. Go get jewelry. Go get jewelry. How's our supply of stuff? There is a stockpile of jewelry and utensils, so that's good. And as I build, money just goes up. So, <laughs> I have no concern. Okay, uh, religion, right. Um, these guys will need some stuff. Which ones do I really want the third blessing for? Like, like, so I'm not gonna be too pretty about this stuff up here. Uh, Jupiter's a good one. Uh, Ceres is a good one. Ceres Temple. Oh, we're running out of equites. But that should... Our city needs more workers. Respect for the gods is so Grain and vegetables take less time to grow. Buildings evolve more quickly. That's not so great. But sure. Uh, but we need more domus. So let's just... Can I squeeze domus around? We can have domus around here, right? No harm. Couple extra domus there. Can I have a couple extra domus down here? I know that desirability. Just run plazas down that way and a large hedgerow around the back. That should work. Let's get more domus down. <clears throat> Uh, will evolve with hygiene, right? A bathhouse. Can fit it here. And I can squeeze like a couple barber shops. Does that cover health barber? I need three barber shops. To squeeze them right at the corners there because they're two by two so bathhouse does that cover everything it will when we get more equities that will cover right that should cover and the medium villas are evolving oh i should tax these people Let me just check Wow, the tax collector is reaching this far? Oh, he can't collect everything. Okay. Tax office, right here. Please tax everyone. Give me the money, so we can make even more money. Uh, education, can I fit a school here? If I move the bathhouse one to the left. Just squeeze the bath, wait no, the bathhouse is just reaching. If I do this, it doesn't hit that final house. The bathhouse has to be here. So to fit... What's here right now? Prefects? Prefect office? Engineering office? Clear those up. Uh, let's just have a second set here. Okay. Are we out of meat? We're a little low on meat. Now, unfortunately, I can't really... What I'll do is I'll just put down two more cattle pasture, no, cattle farms here. Do this, please. 
And I will just stick cattle pastures over here. It's inefficient, but it'll boost things up. Okay, we got plenty of glass. Okay, good. I think we should be pulling well, jewelry well, over. Well. Yes. Baby needs a new pair of sandals. Something catching fire. Okay. Uh, food stocks are low, are they? It looks okay to me. Okay, this being close to plebs means things go quite nicely. Uh, is clothing coming in yet? Just about. We're starting to get some wool. Oh, the evening sun sending a warm glow onto our face. Or is this the morning sun? I can't tell. It's pink. <laughs> Alright, we're at 20,000 denarii. Uh, these will evolve with exotic goods, so we need to start just importing all the exotic goods, huh? So, let's get that started. Where's the first trade route? Here. Buy some papyrus. Uh, yeah, let's just start buying everything. Buy some salt. Buy some amber. Uh, buy some... Just pull this all down a little bit. Perfume. Is that all our current trade routes? Respect for the gods is so high One, two, three, four. Open the trade route to Mesopotamia. They want clothes. And it's a land trade route, which we may or may not sell. Uh, Rome demands 2,000, ship it. I can have this trade route right here. Uh, spice silk. Get those in. Uh, I may or may not sell clothes if I start to develop a massive surplus, which I think I will. But I'll wait for the clothing to distribute first as uh, another type of basic goods for these guys and for these guys. And we're going to get all the exotic goods in now so we can just focus on... Uh... Fountain water, okay. Focus on providing services. Um, I can probably get the other blessings if I just throw some shrines down, right? Let me throw down a Mars shrine here. A Mercury shrine here. A Bacchus shrine here. Respect for the gods is so high in the city. That they Recruits are arrive more quickly. Trade routes are cheaper to open. <laughs> Grain and vegetables take less time to grow. Everyone in the city is happier. Oh, the oh, that's actually a good one from Bacchus. Everyone in the city is happier. Yeah, we probably don't need temples here. I think I should remove those and just. Hold on, let me check. Religion, Mercury. Now then again, we need it for religion access. 
shrines might still be preferable in the long run. Okay, let me have a look at ratings. Security's 100, no problem. Population is 7,000. Struggling to get luxury goods? No, I think I just gotta walk over. Can I... Throw some decorations. Okay. Such an organized city. <laughs> ah. I need to unblock the southern side of the inlet because Mesopotamia enters from there. Uh, southern side of the inlet? You mean... The what? Wait. Mesopotamia is a land trade route. Yeah. So wait, they can't come in from here? You mean I have to... How do I know where he spawns? Can I see him stuck in the wall somewhere? Oh, there he is. There he is. There's many dangers in my best Might still be okay. Storms, wars, pirates. Oh, especially pirates. <laughs> Might still be okay. <laughs> he, he, I didn't build right up to the edge, so he can walk around, I think. <clears throat> I could make it quicker, but it's just exotic goods. Oh, then again, this one does buy clothing. But then again, it doesn't really matter. Right? This functions fine, right? I don't want to mess with things. Yeah, so he can walk all the way around here to the gate. Good. It functions as is. We've got other things to deal with, like getting a ton more domus for all of our required... Um, all our required entertainment projects. I build this along here, hook that up to here. Can I fit more domus here? I'm gonna spam domus. Coverage of odium. Yep, it's fine. These guys don't have odiums. Probably gonna have to throw... I'm gonna be... Let's throw an odium down. Throw an odium down. Does that cover everything? This this one's hard. Odium doesn't have a lot of reach. One house is missing it. For now? I can't even fit it there. Can I fit it here? No. I just put an odium here. Not quite, uh... Bam. Did it. Just have them have Odium access. Um, theater, they got it. Equites is still fine, so let's give these guys a school. Really? Can I put the school here? Will this hit everything? Not quite. Anyway, these will evolve with education. Um, 
I can probably give them the library first. The library I can probably stick down here. Raiders just outside, 10,000, buy off. Okay. Problem solved. Can I have a road here? Thank you. And a road just connect down there. Library has a super long range. That will start the villas evolving. Okay. Exotic goods. I started buying exotic goods and... Our money just continued to go up, so I think it's fine. Uh, the tax from all of this will keep things going. We'll evolve with entertainment. How many exotic goods do you got? Two types? All criminals have vanished overnight. So then they need entertainment. Uh, we actually aren't producing any weapons, which is a problem. Uh, so that means we have iron here. Still some surplus iron, huh? We can set up some weapon factories. Across the river. So let's go... One, two... We only need weapons for gladiators, so two factories should be more than enough. I can't... Build the road first. No, I can't build the road first. Weapons factories. One. Two. Okay, they need timber, which... I think we have surplus. Just in case, I'll throw a timber cutting camp right here. And I should throw down another iron mining camp. Just in case. A protected iron mine. We require more minerals. Food looks pretty good. Um, the meat from this side, I think, works fine. Oh wow, we suddenly have so much pottery coming in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have plenty of utensils coming in as well. I brought in so many utensils. Okay, utensils is actually fine. We're stockpiling everything. Okay. Um... These are all becoming small estates slowly. Good. Uh, can I perhaps fit a school here to cover everything? That might actually work. Education, school. No. Are we really going to need two schools here? I think we're going to need two schools. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh well, we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, exotic goods, entertainment. So yeah, we need the arena. Which I don't know if it's possible to have proper coverage of everything. Like, if I have the arena here, does it reach over there? Entertainment Arena. No. I guess I need two arenas, right? 
So if we're getting two arenas, we can actually push it further back to make room for other things. We'll have an arena here. An arena here. And that... Still doesn't cover... Wait, does this cover? I don't know if that counts. I don't know if this counts. This corner is touching this house. I don't know if that counts. I'm building a road around that way. I could maybe squeeze the arena here instead. If that's not there, does this cover everything? Not by a long shot. Uh, perhaps if I build the arena here instead. Okay, that should cover. Then we just need the gladiator guild near where the weapons come from. We can have a warehouse for weapons right here. Uh, to stockpile. Seven and a half thousand people in the city. We do not have enough jobs for all of our workers. Okay, employment's still doing okay. Despite me spamming all of this stuff. Now, entertainment for here is going to be a little bit complicated. I'll have to probably shift a lot of things around. But we might as well focus on evolving these houses first. Um, what's next? Theater and arena are put down. Coliseum. Is there room for a Colosseum? This reservoir doesn't have to be here, does it? No, it doesn't. Good to know. So we could fit a Colosseum here if we get rid of those warehouses. And that should actually cover everything. What are these doing again? These are the jewelry ones. Yeah, let's get rid of those. I can then fit a Colosseum right... here and just have this road extend over to do that. So if I check the coverage of Colosseum, it doesn't cover everything. Well, we've gotten away with not 100% coverage before. Why isn't it covering up here? The, this, this is weird. The coverage is not going up this way. That is so strange. If possible, I really don't want to build two Colosseums. 
Some fields have ripened overnight. If I place the Colosseum like this... Yeah, it refuses to travel up this way. That is so strange. Well, we can provide global justice first. Um, where do I want to live? Out here, by the farmland as usual. <laughs> uh, let's get a governor's estate. Yeah, I live here. Big house. And I need a basilica nearby. Only three people work in my house? To maintain this? Okay. That'll give global justice. Oh, that was fast. It's already evolving. Uh, how many exotic goods are they getting? They have three types. This one has five types. I think I need another exotic market, actually. Just to try and boost bringing all of the exotic goods down here. They will evolve with healthcare, which means clinic? That's the only one they don't have. Okay. Uh, health clinic. And we need to stick a clinic on this side as well. Okay. And then they'll, <clears throat> excuse me, evolve with education. So we need two schools. So we can have a school here and a school here. Education, school. That covers everything. And they're evolving. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Candle Jacks just found the stream. Seen YouTube, uh, Caesar 3 on YouTube. How does 4 compare to 3? It's a completely different game. Caesar 4 and Caesar 3 are completely different games. They're not alike in any way. Besides the fact that they're set in ancient Rome. Ah, uh, okay. Will evolve with desirability? Oh no, that's a problem. Am I gonna have desirability problems? I might. We'll see what we can do. Like just widening some roads and plazaing that might actually work. Uh, but they need more entertainment now. So that is the Colosseum next. But what am I gonna do? Do I have two Colosseums? Like if I set a Colosseum here, will this cover at least the villas? No. Request for glass, yeah, ship it, that's fine. Like, the problem with putting a Colosseum here is something's bugged about how it calculates how it flows up this way, because it flows up this way all the way to here, but it only flows up this way up until here. This game has its share of bugs. Like, I can have a road come down this way as well. Maybe this will... Ok, 
count towards maybe pushing access up. Ooh, that just about does it. Yes, that covers all the villas at least, and not every house, but most houses. I'll see if I can get away with this. Uh, then we just need a trainer guild near where we store all the meat. Uh, bunch of meat stored here as well. So. This is fine. Okay. Colosseum on the way. Now this exotic market is helping to bring exotic goods down as well. Now desirability is something that is going to be a problem. What's this, a clinic? If I move the clinic... To here, maybe? Clear that. Can I fit a... Winged charioteer? No. Massive statue? A chariot statue? Grand statue? No. A horseman statue? Can stick a horseman statue right here. That helps. Uh, yeah, roads actually are probably the easiest thing to use for desirability. Because I can just widen the road like this and plaza it. It's not a pretty plaza, but lost healthcare, really. The clinic doesn't reach. Health clinic. Here. Get rid of that one. That narrowly works. Okay. Oh no, desirability is going to be a problem. <clears throat> I'm going to have to move things. Because they're all kind of asking for desirability now at Medium Mansion. It's hard work being a patrician, but at least I don't have to try and find a job like all those poor slobs. <laughs> okay, can just kind of plaza this. See, plazas kind of work nicely because roads can be built on slopes, whereas other things cannot be built on slopes. Like, I can do basically decorations here. Which I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. All criminals have vanished overnight. Can I move these buildings slightly? See, I can't move the bathhouse left because... It's just about hitting there. But then again, a second bathhouse is not the worst thing in the world, right? This is a hospital. Hospital I could probably move. Oh, demand for jewelry. Gonna have to stockpile that. We do not have enough... Our city is enjoying the fruits of as much trade as possible. Actually not producing enough of that. If I maybe move the hospital to here? Does this reach everything? Health hospital. Yes. So that helps with that. And then I can 
replace this with a winged charioteer. That should help. It covers these houses at least. Desirability is now just a problem in the top right. That actually helps a lot. Okay, good. I can kind of work around that. I can just replace these temples with stuff. This was the middle block is the hard one because there's no outside edge. Now, in terms of religion, Jupiter, Ceres, Mercury. So Mercury, Bacchus, Mars is not really hitting up here. So I'm going to need shrines to... Mercury. A request for weapons. An epidemic outbreak. Bacchus. Mars. No, not Temple. Okay. Religion. This top right is missing some. So Jupiter's fine, Ceres is fine, Mercury top right, Bacchus is fine, Mars top right. So these shrines, if I move them to the right side instead, for Mars and Mercury, Mars shrine to here. I put the Mercury Shrine here. Does that still cover everything just about? Yes! Mercury, Bacchus, Mars. How does Mars still not- I've shifted it so far and it still doesn't reach? Fine, I might need another Mars Shrine when it gets to it. Uh, medium Mansions, this is still asking for desirability. That's a problem. Uh, can I perhaps fit another horseman statue? Does that help? Okay, that helps a little bit. Medium Mansion will evolve with justice. Wait, we need more justice? Probably shot on Equites? No, no, we're not shot on Equites. They need a forum as well. Now fitting this is a problem. Like, what's the... The farm range is pretty big, but is it that big? Like, if I have the farm... Here. Overlays. Law. Forum. And then I place the forum here. Ooh, it does. Okay. Justice provided. Medium Mansion evolving. Okay, our looking at our ratings. Our favor with Rome must rise for the prestige of our city. Prosperity is 100. I don't have to keep going. Prosperity is fine. <laughs> But I need 10,000 pop. Yeah, but I don't need to be evolving the villas. Culture's more of a problem. Prosperity's already 100. The pop is easy. I just throw insula everywhere. The culture rating's gonna be way harder. Okay. Let, let's try just get some basics going. Education, library. This whole area doesn't have a library. Uh, where can I stick a library? Back here? Good. That doesn't cover everything. How can I make this work? Um, I suppose we get the easy ones first. Let's get school access around. School's easy to spam. Ooh, I might be able to do something there. What can I fit back here? I can fit a school here, which covers that. I can fit a school here, which covers 
that. Why have some of these houses devolved? Do they not... Why? Oh, 100 prosperity with 7,000 pop is easy. Add more insula and your prosperity will drop. Right. Um, that's true. But what what's going on with these insula? Why are they devolving? Why is this domus devolved? Why does it have nothing in there? Why did they devolve? Because now we're short on workers. Okay, well, never mind. Where can I do a little bit of a bonus section? Then again, a bonus section would be bad for, like, access to the Colosseum and all of that. Yeah, you can have 2,000. Oh look, some water games are happening in the Colosseum. There's a lion on a boat! <laughs> I've actually never seen this. There's a lion on a boat, guys. Events are being prepared, it says. They're just practicing, just practicing. Okay. Uh, the markets are all filled. Um, it's just... Okay, we got a boost up population and then... Oh, we've got Grand Mansions. They're max level. They have everything they need. Some exotic goods need to make their way down. Then there's some desirability issues up the top. So let me see. If I just... Build a road. Like this. And plaza that. Will that be enough for you guys? Desirability, exotic goods. This one needs desirability. I might not be able to plaza my way out of this one. I'll just try max out the plazas first. Yeah, that's not enough. Don't suppose I could shift a villa. Room demands jewelry in six months. Like, if I can fit a villa here and still have it covered by everything. What does it not have? Odium, theater, arena, coliseum. Oh, it doesn't have a coliseum. Okay, can't really have it there. Can I fit a villa anywhere else? I'll have to get rid of the temples, I think. I'll get rid of a temple. Entertainment, odium. I can't move the odium, really. Theater. Theater I could move back, I think. If this theater is... Ooh, it can't be there. If I have this theater here... This can work if I do that... ...and have a villa here. You want pottery? Sure. Let's road up this way. Because if I can take one villa out, or just have an extra villa for some leeway on the prosperity, that'll be good. So we either have an extra villa, or I could destroy a villa and fit more decorations. 
uh, on hand 40, five months. All oh, right, we don't, we just don't have storage space for the weapons. Okay, weapons, let go. Yeah, there's plenty of weapons. Okay, so looking at the ratings, we need to boost our population, but then also culture, build more health and hygiene building. Yeah, this clinic, can we move it over? Yeah, that still covers everything. So this area does not have a bathhouse. I assume we do need a bathhouse for these people. Doesn't cover everything, but... Let me just try generally cover everything. Education, schools, library. Yeah, we need a library. We can't fit it back here. We do not have enough jobs for all of our workers. Yeah, we're short on Equites as well. Then again, this... Oh, it's slowly evolving. Okay. Where can we fit a library? That will cover everything. Gonna have to have Domus first anyway. Um, can I squeeze Domus anywhere? Where can more Domus live? Can I make an area back here? This stuff's getting pottery. I think we're bringing enough pottery over. If I extend the road out here, Remove this actor's guild. Or just set up two actor's guilds somewhere else. Yeah. And up this way. Actors and gladiators out there. Get rid of this actor's guild. I'm gonna need... Dormus. Okay. That should get us some workers. Oh, 15 is like borderline for grand mansions. Anything less than 15 grand mansions, I won't be able to make it. Okay, because these mansions here are stuck because of desirability. Because I think the reservoir. But the reservoir has to be there. And then it's a hill, so I can't really fit a statue in front of it. These grand mansions looking pretty fancy though. Is everyone getting their exotic goods, though? Why are we so low on spices? Spices come in from here, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it's slowly distributing, so I think it's okay. Uh, since this guy does have a long commute, I'm just going to boost up Spice and Silk trading there. Okay. So let me check my ratings. Culture's 66. Build more entertainment buildings. Alright. So now the question is, how do I provide entertainment to these houses? <clears throat> Because it's going to be tricky getting theatres and stuff here. Like, I could technically fit it here if I destroy these farms. So let's replace... Let's, let's put it there. 
Prefect office. Tax office. Prefect office, tax office. Uh, the clinic. And this is grain, 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 grain. Four grain farms. One. Ooh. We can stop stockpiling jewelry. Our city is enjoying the fruits of as much trade as possible. One. Two. Three. Four. That's four more grain farms. And the clinic. I'll just put here for now. So I can put down a theater here. Entertainment theater. Yeah, it doesn't cover everything. The actual difficulty with this one is the... Um, spacing, really. Can I have a road come out here? No. Road can connect here. Actors are preparing for the show. Yep, ship those weapons. You've made quite the name for yourself. So my favor should be 89. Okay, we've got 69 culture. <laughs> uh, build more health and hygiene buildings. Do we need to provide hospital access to here? Yes, right? just move this clinic extend the road out here have a clinic here place a hospital here yeah I didn't really plan for centralized placement. I think what I might have to do is maybe destroy some insula in the middle and then scatter insula around the sides. That actually might work better. But let me just sort of place things until we run out of ability to raise culture. So for example, this area does not have an arena. So what can I move to make room for an arena? Utensils? Ship it. Ooh, if I move the hospital to the other side... Get rid of this, and yeah, I don't need these resources. Then I can put... An arena here. I just want to see how high up I can get my ratings. Arena. Yeah, basically one building doesn't cover everything. Okay, do I need another gladiator school? I'm not sure. We do not have enough jobs for all of our workers. Will I need a circus? Maybe. Oh, that one doesn't get hospital access. Okay, that's fine. We do not have enough jobs for all of our workers. Now a favor with Rose. Favor's 99. Okay. The prestige of our city. Oof. All right, population, I need another 2,000 people. That's pretty crazy. 
2,000 people. See, the, the real tricky part about this map, compared to my last big city that I made, is that um, it's not flat. <laughs> it's not flat. So it's hard to just place things everywhere. I can't really be putting Insula up here. I mean, I can be squeezing Insula here and there, but would it really get us to where we need to be? Because another 2,000 people is a lot of people. Uh, a lot of houses. It's another... Uh, 10 will be 1,005. 12, 13, plus those domus evolving. I need another 12 at least, Insula. So, the problem is... Food, because... If I place farms over here, these farm workers will go over to these fields. But I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I would build here, but there's a hill. Um, can't really build anywhere down here. There's some room here. I guess I could use this area, right here. And to make sure I have access to everything, basically if I just go way overboard on Equites, then I can just start spamming culture buildings everywhere without consequence. One Domus holds 80 people. So, if I build an area here, and I go one, two, three, four, five, we'll go for ten, two, three, four, Five. That'll be another 1,500 people. And then I just want a bunch of domus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something's gone wrong. Here. Eight. Wrap a road around. Connect this over the hill. Yep, you can have 2,000. This will get us to our target population, but we do need to cover everything with stuff as well. Uh, I can have a reservoir here. Connect an aqueduct up to here. Give you guys your own little fountain. Make sure nothing burns down or collapses. Okay. Uh, we will need a food market. Oh, well, we really can't build anything there, huh? Um... If this road is somewhat to the left, I think there's actually room on the hill to fit something. A food market. Criminals are disappearing from the streets. So that's not too far from the granaries. That should help. Uh, we're going to need basic goods as well. And we're going to need luxury goods as well. 
I'm just gonna try be efficient here. Uh, I don't know if... Um, I'm gonna road down this way, yes. I don't know if those markets are able to get what they need. Yeah, nothing's really gonna reach this way. I'm just gonna connect it anyway, in case there's a shorter distance. I'll just see how this develops over time. Uh, we will need shrines to all the gods. Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Ceres, and Bacchus to cover all of those. These guys will need a school. They will need a clinic. We can throw barber shops around. Actually, this whole area down here doesn't have barber shops. Let's just scatter barber shops. Health Barber. Barber Shop. Everyone get a barber shop. <laughs> How? How does one house elude me? Okay. It's not 100%, but we've won with 100 culture and not had everything 100% before. So... I'm just gonna try my luck. See fires, so let's throw down some extra protective stuff. Everyone's gonna start moving in. Well, you just grab 10 pots like that? I guess that's fine, right? If they can grab that much stuff in one go, it should be fine. Uh, what else can we do? All these guys are moving in, so let's throw down school let's throw down let's move this barber shop to here and then we just have this road extending providing services so we have library we have bathhouse we need an odium payment odium odiums really are not good odium either. Let's clear this. Let's give these guys I could fit a theater here if this road didn't exist. Theater. Touch the road, might as well. Okay, good. Doesn't cover 100%. <laughs> Let's just get to our target population and work from there, shall we? Now, is it going to be possible for me to boost up food production? If I just throw down... I just throw down a bunch of extra farms. It should work, right? It's like one, two, three, four. Vegetable farm. 
One, two, three, four. Connect the road, and then just go throw eight fields somewhere. I guess up here is fine. Six, seven, eight. Vegetable field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Replacement. Oh, I see the trader spawning here. <laughs> That's where he comes from, okay. So that should boost up uh, food production-ish. We'll have to throw granaries around to get anything else. These houses are all evolving. Those insula are all large insula already. The domus are all evolving as well. So we're going to hit our target population of 10,000. And then from here, you can tell we're hitting 10,000 because the game starts to lag. Why two schools? Do they need more education? Did I put two schools? So I did. We don't need two schools. Okay. Culture's 84. So everything is where it needs to be except for culture. Build more entertainment buildings. So this is where things get very difficult. Will a circus help? We do not I guess I might as well, right? Let's throw a circus down. It doesn't have to be anywhere specific. Uh, can I fit it long? Oh, it's way long. Because uh, wood comes from here. So I guess I can just have the circus here. You have to travel out of town. That's fine. Connect that up, so the circus is there, and then we just need a Charioteer's Guild. I like the design of the Charioteer's Guild. I like that teardrop shape. And then this just needs wood, right? Yeah, which comes from these timber cutting camps. And just to make sure we have enough, let's throw an extra timber cutting camp. Money is at 35,000, so I am not concerned about that. We do not have enough Now a favor with Rome must rise for the prestige of our I think city. that did actually push it up by one. Don't need a chariot ride to watch the chariot race here. Yeah. Circus will not help, it is necessary. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know its exact effect on the culture building. But it now says build more educational buildings, so those are slightly easier. So let's make sure we have school coverage everywhere. So there's some houses here which are struggling. We've got 10,000 people, great. Can I put a school anywhere? I mean, there's just like four houses which don't have school. Raiders just outside, 10,000, go away. Uh, if this road touches down to the school here and then up over to here, bam, school access. <clears throat> I think if I clear this domus and just connect these roads, it will actually solve a lot of problems. So, do I still need both of these schools? No. Can actually get rid of a school. Okay, so is that 100% school access? Yes. Let's make sure it's 100% library access. Oh, I didn't have a library down here at all. Okay. If I replace... 
How big is a library? It's bigger than a domus. How can I make this work? If I get rid of two domus, I can actually squeeze it here. Or I could just get rid of that one domus. So if I get rid of this domus, clear some road. What is this building? A barber? I can actually fit a library here and replace that barbershop. But we'll need a school over here. Okay, library covers almost everything. Let's check our ratings. 93. <laughs> oh, almost, almost. Build more entertainment buildings. Yeah, I've gotten away with a house or two missing, but also if there's a house or two missing, I might be able to go through and just delete a house. Um, more entertainment buildings. So let's check entertainment. So the Colosseum is missing a few buildings down that way. And the Colosseum also does not reach over here. The circus has global effect. The arena is covering all of those, not these, and not down here. So we could do with an arena in a lot of locations. For example, if I can pull off an arena here, Would it be better if the arena was up here? Not really. That doesn't really help. Would it make more sense if the arena was back here? I think that's kind of better. It hits the insula more. I should probably double up on the gladiator guilds. Just throw down two. It's fine. Let's have lots of gladiators. Um, wait, what? Oh, did they just run out of gladiators? There we go. Okay, so we probably need an arena over this side. Where can I fit an arena on this side? Um, perhaps... Ooh, if I just move these farms. Grain, grain, grain. Three grain farms. Go one, two. Extend that. And then one more grain farm here. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that's fine. Get rid of three grain farms. We can fit an arena right here. That actually covers not bad. What's this? That's a vegetable farm. Let me move this vegetable farm. Some fields have ripened overnight. Very nice. I just have that vegetable farm so I can bust this down and connect this road. I just realized we're actually really low on food. Maybe not really low, but kind of low.
Meat's fine. <laughs> we got plenty of meat. Okay, as long as people aren't starving, it's okay. Yeah, maybe that was just a lull in the harvest. We did just get a blessing, though. Okay, entertainment arena. Uh, we need the gladiators to come down. How many arenas do we have? One, two, three, four, five? How many gladiator guilds do we need? Let's have another. Sure, ship that. Once a gladiator moves into here... Yeah. At this point, city development, food being low is just expected. Yeah. We don't have large swaths of uh, farmland all together. Okay, I think that gladiator is coming this way. Come on, get in. Okay. So, how close are we? 94 and it's rising. Okay, we just gotta wait, see what it plays out. What's the total number of Insula and Domus I've placed? Um, does it say somewhere without me having to count? How's Prosperity? Prosperity's fine. Prosperity's solid 100. No worries there. We're at 10,000 population at 100 Prosperity. Have to manually count them? Ugh. Okay. 95. Build more health and hygiene buildings. Okay, uh, Barber Access. It's not 100%, but that should be fine. Bathhouse Access? Oh, do we need a bathhouse over here? Oh, Clinic is actually severely lacking. But I'm gonna need... More domus, I think. As we build up domus, we could pull back on some insula as well. Oof. Hills are the worst thing in this game. It's really what makes everything difficult. Because we're short on equites right now. Our city's cultural standard needs work. Whew. <laughs> This is gonna be tricky to pull off. Like in the past I did my big spokes wheel design, but there's just there wasn't enough flat land to do it here. So I thought being compact would work, but then perhaps I got the wrong idea with how I actually set about my main block. for the prestige of our city. This last five is gonna be a killer. Build more health and hygiene buildings. So, health. Yeah, this right side needs a bathhouse. Clinic. Can I fit a clinic here? If I do that, that might help. And then this side also needs one. So that gives me 100% clinic access. Hospital. This right side probably needs one. Oh, here. Wait, didn't I build a hospital here? I did not. That was a library. So I need two hospitals, I think. Our favor with Rome must rise.
That's up to 96. So I need two hospitals. Throw down an extra fountain here. Yeah, just in case. Uh, I assume religion is... I mean, there's a couple houses missing religion, but it's just not too bad. Oh, these are actually not getting any at all. Okay. But I'll wait. I'll follow what it says here. Health and hygiene. So I think we need hospitals. We do not have enough jobs for all of our workers. So let's check health, hospitals. Here. And then I'll need one over this side. Will this cover it? Ooh, that should work. Okay. Our city needs Our city's cultural standard needs work. Okay, we'll see what number it rests on. <clears throat> ah. Our Michelle's uh, finally caught me on Twitch. Yes, if you're watching this live, hello. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello. That pleb unemployment, yeah. Yeah, we can ship glass. Our city's culture. Our city <laughs> A thousand unemployed. We need way more equites though. Uh, ratings. Build more work. entertainment buildings. We're back to entertainment. Okay. This is gonna be difficult. First, let me check entertainment podium theater arena coliseum circus so coliseum is not reaching four domus down there and a bunch of domus over here the thing is i'm kind of out of room on this side unless i build up I suppose Domus will be supported here. These are all the service buildings here. So if I actually do this... Extend... Roads like this. If I have... This road needs to go here first. We can wrap it around like that. I think I'll need another Colosseum for this side. Health, bathhouse, clinic. That hospital doesn't reach there. Can I move the hospital? I need to move all of this one tile up. Reservoir. Road. Connect. Domus. Hospital, remove this hospital, have a domus instead. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six domus, which allows me to continue destroying houses where it doesn't have access. Uh, in terms of getting Colosseum access over this side, 
where could I possibly fit a Colosseum? Like up here? But would it reach all the way down here? I don't know. I'd like a Colosseum here. But this theater... is kind of required. Can the theater fit up here? Not really. Then again, I do have enough prosperity, but then, you know, the whole point is access to entertainment, right? Our city's cultural standard needs work. Why is culture rising? I didn't do anything. Our city's cultural standard so it's probably 97 work. right now? Now, Colosseum can't be down south. This is a hill. Nothing can be built here. I can fit like one thing here. Some fields have ripened overnight. That should those fields ripening overnight should help with um, the food shortage. Odium is not on West Domus. Entertainment, Odium. Oh yeah, we can have an Odium here. Every little bit helps. Ah. Ugh. Just have to keep spamming odiums. More attention must be paid to our Why is culture falling from ninety seven? Gonna need to move these aqueducts out of the way. Just connect here. And then this aqueduct I can just hook around this way. So this allows me to clear all of this open up a space here just get rid of the odium first Colosseum can fit here this will provide Colosseum access to uh, still doesn't really cover all these houses. Maybe if I extend a road down this way? It doesn't really help with that. Perhaps if I just... remove the domus. Just bring it down. It's probably worth it. All criminals have vanished overnight. It's still not hitting every house. It's very difficult. Uh, we are overpopulation though. So let me try destroy some insula that don't matter. That, that isn't being hit by stuff. So for example, insula that won't be hit by uh, Colosseum is like that one. Any insula here not being hit by the Colosseum? No. Okay. How about insula not hit by arenas? No. Insula not hit by theaters? Oh, we don't have a theater on this side. That's a problem. But I thought I had a theater on this side. I don't have a theater on this side? If I... I don't need this warehouse. Get rid of this warehouse. Connect the road over. Clear some space here. 
Just throw a theater down. That helps. I'll look for insula that aren't hit by anything. Let's throw down another actor's guild. Yeah, we have enough equites. I'm 300 over. We're at 99 culture! Build more religion buildings? Really? Okay, religion's easy. Religion. Jupiter. Okay. Um, also, am I going to win if I do this? Oh, prosperity's dropped a bit. No, no worries. No worries. I'm actually going to make a... This is my first save. Since we got rich, we don't have to worry about anything. Uh, I can just throw a Jupiter shrine here. Who else doesn't have Jupiter? No one? Everyone's got Jupiter? Okay. How about religion? Series. No. Uh, series shrine? Here. That doesn't really help. Series shrine here. There we go. Anyone else missing series? No. Mercury. Again down here. I think it's just this side. Mercury. Bacchus. Oh, up there as well, I forgot. Uh, Bacchus Shrine. Mars Shrine. Okay. More attention must Culture is rising and it says 99. And yeah, I'll be deleting a couple insula. More and I can still... Culture's 100! That means prosperity is just a little bit, which... That, that was the least of my concerns, prosperity. So I can just destroy a couple insula which aren't getting something. So for example, theater access, this insula, not getting theater, we can get rid of that. More attention must be paid to our city's uh, I could also try and just, why is this? This medium estate doesn't have health care. More attention must be paid to Doing that prosperity. boosted that up to 99. I can just provide this with healthcare. What what healthcare does it not have? Bathhouse? It doesn't have a bathhouse. Barber, clinic, hospital. It doesn't have a hospital. I can pop a hospital down. Evolving. Okay, cool. That's what the extra villa was for. More attention must be paid to our and there we go. Prosperity. That's victory. That is victory of the final peaceful economic mission. A request for 2,000 denarii. Ship it. And... You have brought Rome to the world, and the world to Rome. Vene, vidi, vici. Poets have so far failed to properly express the magnificence of your city. Caesar, however, knew exactly how to express his gratitude for your extraordinary career. He named you as his heir shortly before he died. Hail Caesar! Hail! Hail Caesar! We have technically completed the game. You can see this map took us 10 years, 9 months. Popularity perfect. Uh, didn't use any personal funds, not even for gifts to raise uh, favor. Technically, yeah, because we have not yet beaten the military final mission, but we've reached the end of one path at least. Culture 100, security 100, prosperity 100, favor 100, total population at 10,000, 
210. I could have d destroyed one more insula, but we did it. We did it. But that's going to be it for today. We have one more mission to beat after this, and then Caesar 4 is done with. Thank you so much for joining today. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check out patreon.com slash gamerzak. Direct support there means we can reduce ads on YouTube. This is a long video, so if you're watching on YouTube, you might see a lot of ad breaks. Keep in mind, this video is three and a half hours long. And on average, we run an ad once every 20 to 30 minutes, thanks to direct support like on Patreon. There's also... Uh, Teespring merch store where I design my own merch, a uh, Humble Bundle referral link where you can buy games and support the channel, and you can become a YouTube member, subscribe on Twitch, and yeah, all of that. <laughs> Join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I'm active on all of those, especially Twitter, go follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm contactable too if you DM me, and of course, the wonderful Zachalites Discord community, discord.gg slash gamerzach, go join that. We're there every day. If you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. But until then, thank you so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.